Hello guys, it's Gmax from Gmax Studios and today we are here for another amazing tutorials in the world of Photoshop and then before I continue, I want to thank everyone for their wishes for my birthday a few days back happens to be my birthday and I had a lot of love both from um, fans um, our subscribers here online and um, friends and family I would I want to say a very big thank you to you. All right, if you're new to my channel, please do well to like, comment on this video, and don't forget, lastly, please subscribe to the channel because it helps the channel to go further and reach more people, and it also serves as a support from you to help us create more of this content. So I was looking at this image um, some days back, and I needed to get something to just post online. And I noticed that, okay, I had this image, but it wasn't looking perfect. The hairline wasn't looking okay. So I needed to fix that hairline. So this is the after. So today I will be showing you how I would work on a male portrait and also how I was able to fix this hairline. Before we take too much time, we get down to business. So, all right, I would quickly just off this guy here and the first thing i will do i've gone through the internet and i've seen different techniques and different methods but for me i would want to do fix this hairline first and then i will now do my retouching why that is so is because um once i'm done fixing my hairline possibly i might have some glitches on the skin which i could use my frequent separation to blend in and blend out to be able to give me that perfect texture as seen in this point or at this point so i will just do that right now so quickly i will pick up my pen tool this is my pen tool right here and then i will make um, a selection so i'll pick a point here Then I'll pick a point. Then I would I won't I wouldn't leave it. I'll just draw it a little bit. Yes, give me that line. Then I'll hold my alt and then this side. So I would come over here too. Now and I've been to Saturn a lot, so I guess I have seen where the line would always start with the line of stop. So so possibly if you're in the salon, this is where this will stop, then I'll still do the same thing. I'll just do there. Alright, then I'll hold my alt again and then tilt it a bit downward. So I'll create that. Yes, and then I'll hold it this way. Then I'll then give it. Then I'll come this way. Okay. I will go back a bit. Let's play. Let's go back a little bit. I'm going to still come back here at this point and I'll draw to make that curve. Then I'll bend this holding my alt. Give me that straight line. And I'll come here. That line is too sharp. Okay, let's just let's just go back a bit. I, I think the line is stopping here. So okay. So we'll just 
go around it. So you can actually go pick any of these to manipulate to get the result you want. So the way I could get this is I'll right click to get the options of the different pen tools. Then once I'm done, I would okay, I just make a little adjustment here. I can then pick up my pen tool. Let's, right, let's say the pen tool. And then quickly, um, I will right click. Remember, I created a new layer. So I'll just right click and um, you will see make a selection. I click this make a selection. So we'll feather this a bit. To give it a blend, so it won't be, look too harsh or direct. So we're gonna use. Let's use two. So once that is done, <coughs> we are going to pick our clone stamp to the opacity at hundred, the the flow at hundred also, and then we're going to change the sample to current and below. And possibly we want to use a soft brush to give it that blend. So I would quickly come over here and then sample from here. Sample from here, and then I'll come here to fill in that space. And I'll check again if they have space. This is to be to be filled up. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to reduce the opacity of this flow because of these lighter areas. We're not, we're not going to use the same amount of this thing to just give it a soft kind of feel. So it won't look too much. Okay, now I think it's looking too much. So I think to still reduce it a bit to bit. I just the control Z now. Then we're going to just fill that in. Looking at those areas that are still empty, and then we're trying to fill them up. So, let to still do the same here. So, let us check. And after, okay, so I will still need that selection back to be able to work on the outside part of this. So I will go back, Ctrl Z, and then I will right click on this, and then you see this drop bar. I will pick select inverse. Now, now I'm I'll, I'll going to try to fix outside this place to give it that look as if I had carved this image. So we are going to just increase this a little bit. So we're going to sample from here to give it the uniform blend of not to worry about maybe the skin difference or something like that. During um, frequency separation, we're going to try our best to fix on of that. Okay. 
lest I forget. If you are new to our channel, please do well to like, do well to subscribe, and do well to share. We're doing our best to help as many that are out there that are having issues one way or other in becoming better in photography. And um, our goal is helping everyone to grow their their skills and become better. So um, we would love that you would support us by encouraging us by sharing our video sorry i need to I need to invert this to get back inside okay by sharing our videos commenting on our videos each of our videos each of our videos that you see that you love so much please do well to comment on it do well, do well to tell people about gmax studios and recommend us too for our big bosses over there and then you have some student or some staffs that you would want to um, help them become better in their retouching game. You could also recommend this channel to them for them to look at. And I believe that it would go a long way to help them in a short period of time. Okay, so I guess we are done with this. So let's just take off that selection. So voila, this is beautiful. This is like before and after before now and after so you can see how we're able to bring out this um carving so we're gonna go straight into the um, retouching so i'm going to be deleting this layer <clears throat> for me i love working non-destructively so i wouldn't want to merge any of this i'll leave it there since i'm using my retouch academy you can always Help me create that um, frequency separation without affecting this. But if you're using actions, yeah, some actions that won't give you that same result. So before you do anything, you have to merge these two before you do anything. Unless you won't get the result you're looking for your for your frequency separation. So I will just click via Gaussian blow. And then I'll pick like I would always teach that. Um, when picking your first blow, you're looking at the skin texture or the pixel of the camera also matters. And then also the kind of shot you're working on also matters. Because the closer your shot is to your camera, the more likely to, for it to have textures. So if you have a full body portrait, the amount of blow you use for your if for for your for your full body portrait won't be the same for your medium portrait neither would it be for your close-up shots so if it's a, the same image and then you're working on them please note that you don't just use let's say um when we're growing up or when we're coming up with photography we've been taught that okay five is the standard but um from my experience and from what i've noticed five is not always the standard five could work in many cases but it is not the final because there's more to it. So and the more to it is by you looking at your skin and at uh, um, uh, um, knowing which blow is best for it. So anytime you hear me talk about my first blow, I mean the first blow you apply when doing your frequency separation or when setting up your frequency separation. So I would be looking at this image and um, I will want to fix some things in this this symbol. I'm also considering the fact that it's a it's a male portrait. I won't want to take away all the textures. I will want to preserve some textures for later reference. Remember that I said that um, any texture that has been taken away from your low frequency is being preserved in your high frequency. So let us get out to business. Then we get to brush. So, like I would always tell you, my brush setting is to add 2, load 40, mix 40, flow 40. And then we have um, this guy here, and you just leave my normal. Then for me to work on this sample all layers, uh, for me to work on the new layer, I have to take this sample all layers. So, what I will quickly do is I will brush. In the later part of this video, I would be explaining why I prefer to use this method. Since I found this method, it has worked to magic for me, and I would 
explain why why at the end of of let's say when we're getting to the end of this story so that you get to see for yourself and decide if you choose this method or if you brush on your low frequency layer all the same we're still doing the same thing it's just different techniques at for the same destination or, or going to the same place so there's no there's no big deal in it okay so like i said earlier if you're new to the channel please do well to support us do well to like do well to comment and then um, recently on my birthday that was last week saturday we launched our um um our item store where you can get all the loots and um tutorials and one-on-one -on -one trainings and everything though we're still bringing in some stuff that could help the community but if you don't mind you can go check it out for yourself and if you love the content please do well to get it for yourself that's one way that you can use to support us to help us to grow okay so I won't be talking much about what I'm doing here and I'll be I'll try and be very fast to be down on time. Today I don't want this video to be too long so that you would be able to watch this video also. And please most times if even if you don't want to try watch these videos online too, it helps to boost the videos and it helps to also boost our watch hour. And for the record, here yeah, we have not been, we have not um, gotten the point where we are being paid or anything. So it is just us sacrificing for the community. So which we believe that it's going to pay off. And one way it's going to pay off is if more people are able to get to the channel and more people are willing to watch online. So I'm aware that many people would always want to download it and then maybe watch it a later time. No, oh, to an extent is bad for business, but the job of it is as far as you're able to learn something. I'm glad. I'm most excited. That's the most important. The impact to share and the impact to give is what gives us joy every day, and it's what makes us create more videos. The testimonies that we get on a daily basis on how this is really helping them gives us that beautiful force to create more of this kind of content so this portrait is a portrait of me how i look like in real life We are still back on some equipment. You're hoping to get some equipment to that. We could also come online. So as we retouch, we can get to see our faces. Not just, just our faces, but we get to see clearly. So we're not just settling for anything. We want to get the best. So till we do that, bear with us for the meantime. So we'll uh, to see what we've been able to do in this short period of time. And we notice the amount of texture that we preserved on this skin. So you see why I prefer to work on. So now I'm going to be showing you the reason why I, I talked about working on these correcting tones or new layers. It's very simple. It's just you create a new layer and then you brush on the layers. Now the beauty of it is that I can as well correct it and still come back and brush on it without having any issue. If I'm having issues, let's say in my in my forehead and I want to do it again, all I just have to do is I pick my ears out too, and then I'll brush on the layer. Or oh, yeah, on the new layer, and I will delete it off, and I can still come back and still sorry i need to i'll have to off this and i can still come back to brush again without any issue so that's the beauty of you 
using the new layer. So if you if you have a mistake or you made a mistake during your retouching, you do you're not scared. All you just have to do is get your brush, your eraser tool, then delete on the layer, and then get back to it again and brush on the same layer without any issue. So that's one of the beautiful things with the using your new layer, you're using your empty layer. So I I can as well make some corrections here. I'll just want to erase this off. I want it to blend. Okay. All right. So far, we have come to the end of to today's tutorial, and let's do a recap. The first step to what we did today was um, trying to fix the hairline on this image, looking at the fact that the hairline wasn't looking perfect and looking good. So we we're able to first go fix the hairline. So I'll get it closer, you see, fixed the hairline. Yeah, and then we also, because we wanted to have this beautiful image at the end of the day, we did that first and then we now went for our frequency separation. So you can see, you can see the before and the after. See the difference, so much difference that we created working on this image. So thank you so much for watching. I mean, your host Gmax from Gmax Studios. Please, if you like this video or if you 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 love this video, please do well to like, do well to share, and don't forget, please subscribe to the channel because it helps us to do this better. And lastly, we have we just launched our um our store where you can get both our presets, our color lookups, and lots more. The next part of this video, we are going to be looking at how we are going to be fixing this background and also how we can add um, that texture you saw on the first uh, the first image that we worked on. How we are going to be adding that beautiful texture on this image also. And also we're going to be showing you how to quickly grade using our presets and using our one click loot. So it is going to be magical, it's going to be simple and straight to the point. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying tuned to see you again. Keep creating.